right guys 60 second tutorial in objective C so so far we already uh, pretty much created a file made sure it existed made a copy of it called new file and then renamed that copy so now we have a tester file and a new file too so let's go ahead and uh, just do a couple more things and I promise these are the last things we're gonna do for this little um, program I guess and then after this we're going to be writing a whole new program getting rid of all this source code it looks kind of jumbled so these are pretty much the three most common things that we're going to want to do with the file the first thing is get size of the file and we're going to want to get the size of file number two I mean it doesn't matter they're both the same size you can do it with either one I guess but go ahead and this is kind of weird so ns dictionary we're going to create a new dictionary what and just go ahead and name it my dick just like the um, last well not the last tutorial like four tutorials ago and check this out you're gonna write if and let's just go ahead and make our error statement um ns log could not get file attributes and we return I think you're on return four alright so now in the if code go ahead and show you guys where to write there we go in the if code what we want to do is here's pretty much what happens they built in a built in objects that pretty much looks at a file gets all the attributes from it and one of the attributes is the file size and they store all the attributes in a dictionary and then you can take your dictionary and reference any of the attributes you want so that was uh... what i was thinking of telling you guys so let's go ahead and write this entire method and if it's equal to nothing nil then that's when we're going to be want to run our error but anyways now that we have that is all my code right all right. What we want to do is put my dick and set it equal to manager attributes of item at path. And the path is what file do you want to get the attributes from? New file two. And as your error, just go ahead and put null. And check this out alright if this doesn't work we're gonna get this but if it does work here's what we just did we created a new dictionary called my dick and it pretty much stores all of the attributes from this file I mean that's all this code does it just does it in a really confusing way so if it doesn't work do this but if it does work then the else block is gonna run so if it does work let's just log something on s log something out at um we'll get the file size file is percent i bytes and in order to um let me make sure i'm typing everything right all right in order to remember whenever you're working with a dictionary you get objects and keys so you give the key and it gives you the object so your dictionary is my dick and go ahead and put object for key in your key these are built in keys n s file size i don't know there we go i was wondering why it wasn't popping up in Macly. and again this is the object and we want the integer value int value for that object so let me see if i can explain this to you guys what we did in this tutorial is pretty much created a blank dictionary because I mean we don't need to fill in anything because we want the computer to fill it in for us now what this method attributes of item at path what this method does is it creates a dictionary for you of all the attributes of this file file size with a bunch of other attributes as well so we store that entire dictionary in an object called my dick and then whenever we want to get one of the attributes for it we just pass it what key or what attribute we want to get in this time the file size and then 
we just convert it to an integer value because remember this is an object we can't be printing out objects we want the integer value of that object and then it just prints out how many bytes that is so go ahead and check this out remember to delete every other file besides tester file or else it won't work because I mean it will try to copy a file and rename a file that's already there and stuff so go ahead and run this and hopefully I didn't mess anything up I got a feeling I did oh no I didn't so first it creates a new file and then it converts it to new file 2 and then it takes that new file 2 and it tells you file is 31 bytes there are 31 characters in that file ah oh, pretty cool huh so again what we did create a dictionary have it f populate the dictionary for us full of attributes and then we just access one of the attributes in summary so that was a whole tutorial I didn't get as much accomplished as I uh, think I was gonna so I actually need one more tutorial to finish up but I promise the next tutorial is gonna be real short but thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial